The juice is loose! Woo! What does that even mean? Well, we're discussing how to buy the perfect juicer on today's food gear. See? You know, juicers, juice. I can't even juices. look at you right now. healthiest, purest, and tastiest juice money can buy, nothing beats freshly squeezed. No additives, no preservatives, no aftertaste of plastic cartons. Which is where technology comes in. There are two types of electric juicers you can buy, citrus only and an anything juicer. However, the first feature to look for in any electric juicer is its ability to fit full time on your counter. If you have to store your juicer away, odds are it'll be forgotten there until your next garage sale. A citrus juicer is an appliance that only works on citrus fruits, but an anything juicer can handle almost any fruit or vegetable. In both cases, the juicer is only as good as its motor. Urgh. Make sure that that motor has a long-term warranty. Otherwise, you've probably bought an appliance that will burn out before you get your money's worth. Also, any juicer you buy should have multiple strainers built in so you can control how much vegetable pulp is mixed in with your juice. Now, I like a chunky blend and pansies like Dave like theirs pulp free, so the juicer needs to accommodate us both. I am not Dave. Or a pansy. No, not Dave's not a pansy. Anyway, higher end juicers will come with a cool little wire brush to clean the strainer too. I recommend that. And even if it doesn't have its own brush, the juicer should be able to break down into easy to clean parts that are entirely dishwasher safe and stainless steel wherever possible. Now, citrus juicers are the simpler, cheaper models for those of us that just want some fresh OJ or grapefruit juice, not the exotic apple, tomato, carrot combos. A decent one will cost around $25. Your citrus juicer should have a cone so you don't tear up your hand trying to keep a tiny lime on a cone big enough for a grapefruit. Fruit. That's right. Now, I also recommend a self contained pitcher instead of a side spout because if you let these cone juicers slip a little, the base will turn instead of the fruit spraying juice all over the counter. And for those of you that like to homebrew your V8 drinks, an anything juicer is the gizmo for you. They are more expensive. A good one will cost anywhere from around $100 to $300, but they're way more versatile. I hate having to finally slice my fruits and veggies before I juice them, but thankfully, you can buy a juicer that will handle a whole unpeeled orange cord fruit. And just make sure you're any Anything juicer is like not Dave and has a big mouth that can accommodate larger chunks of food. <clears throat> An anything juicer should it also have at least one horsepower motor to completely pulp whole fruits. So, in review, you want a juicer with at least one horsepower motor and a long term warranty. It should be small enough to fit on your counter and have multiple size strainers for controlling pulp content. And it should have its own container for the juice, no side spouts. Citrus juicers are for the fresh OJ at breakfast crowd. Anything juicers are strictly for the committed juice lifestyle folks. Follow these tips and you'll bring home the perfect juicer for your fresh squeezed needs. I'm Sarah. East. And I'm Joe Bennett, and this has been Food Gear. Don't shop uninformed. Subscribe now so we can help you find the right food gear. Oh, <laughs> What's happening to me? <laughs> Please find a reason to bring that into a food rant. You know what pickles make me want to do? <laughs> <laughs>